here uh, with Brother Obed and uh, Kate Post. We are going through all the indentures. We have, uh, for me, over 30 something people uh, sent their money through Sister Yah to acquire their land for them. And the good news is today indentures are done. I'm here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian. Um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, please subscribe. Yes. Uh, the other time I was going through my analytics and I realized that most people who watch my videos have not subscribed. Yes, so please subscribe to this channel right now. Let's hit 20,000 pretty soon because I have, I think, 13,000. So let's hit 20,000 very soon. All right, so um, today I'm coming your way with a beautiful news. Yes, um, there's a sister called Sister Ya. Uh, she is from the United States. She's, in, she's a diaspora, but she's moved to Ghana. Right now she's in Ghana. And she's been supporting a lot of African diasporas who want to repatriate. So she has an organization called Sankofa Repatriation Program. I think so. Yes, and she's basically supporting you know, uh, African diasporas who want to move to the motherland, not only Ghana, don't only think of Ghana, who want to move to the motherland. So uh, we've been, you know, uh, communicating, talking and all that. And just last week, he was like, yo, Echo, I'm coming to Cape Coast to pick up about 30 indentures. Yes, documentations for 30 African diaspora. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I know. Um, the documentation when it comes to getting your land document from Ghana takes a little while. Um, I think she was patient with it. You know, we, we used to talk, oh, the thing is not come like, take it easy. It will come. This is how things are done sometimes here. So um, last week she came over. I wasn't able to meet her. But then she came over and met up with Obed. You know Obed. I know most of you might have seen Obed in my videos. And Obed is a director of operations or something for the Asebu land. Mind you, this land is only given from Asebu Traditional Council. That is not the whole Ghana giving you land. It is just a traditional council where the leader, okay, Teche Amenfi the servant, says, Hey, if you are coming, I want to give you a land so you can come and stay. I've done previous videos and you've seen what is going on on the land. People are building already. People are putting up, you know, beautiful structures and all that. Others also have some businesses going on on that land. And then another thing is that land is basically for residents' project. You're not going to do some farming or anything. You can, if you maybe you have like one or two plots, you can use one for your, your house and then the other one for like a small garden or something like that. All right, so there are a lot of projects going on. And I know after this... The f this is the first phase, right? After this one is finished, they will move to the second phase. So if you are watching me and you still want to get a land in Asebu, I think there is an opportunity. But come as fast as possible or as soon as possible. All right, so Sister Yaki met with Obed and then she signed all the 30 indentures or documents for the 30 diasporans who have bought the land or have gotten their free land from Asebu. So uh, there's a short video of when she got to Cape Coast and then met with Obed and did the signing. So let me take you to that video, watch it, and let's get back to our discussion. Hey, greetings family, I'm here uh, with Brother Obed and uh, Cape Coast. We are going through all the indentures. We have, uh, for me, over 30 something people yeah. uh, sent their money through Sister Yah to acquire their land for them. And the good news is today indentures are done. I'm here. I traveled to Cape Coast this morning to pick them up. I'm signing um, to take these documents and send them back to our brothers and sisters in the States. <laughs> you are official. 
land owners in the motherland. Brother Ovid, do you have anything you would like to add? Uh, 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 that I want to add up is the fact that uh, these indentures have delayed a while. I know the backlash and going and the coming and you know people are blaming Sister Yah, they are blaming Obed and I say we Pan-African believe yes we accept our mistakes, we accept our errors and we accept the fact that the indentures got delayed. The good news is that now the indentures are in. We've got a little, just one or two mistakes to get corrected on one or two of them. So I've assured Sister Yah that uh, by close of next two weeks it should be done. So we can get those individuals involved to get their indentures. Aside that, all the indentures are in, and a great chunk of us are all getting our indentures. Thanks for showing interest in Asilo Pan African Village. Thanks for uh, paying for your document. We hope and believing to see you in Asilo to build a strong, collaborative, and a fulfilling. African environment where we shall call our home because this is our homeland, Ghana. Thank you. Take care. Yes, yes, yes. I am officially uh, finished signing off on all. Oh, listen, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. <laughs> all of you people are land owners. All of you. All of you. Thank you for trusting in me, Sister Ya, uh, to handle this very important uh, and critical. Um, uh, thing for you, you know, buying land in Africa. I know a lot of people are always very suspicious and worried and concerned, you know, if they're going to get gypped or duped or something <laughs> like that. But, you know, I already knew dealing with Nana Obakesi and Brother Obed and the King that none of that was going to happen. And I'm just happy today to be here to pick up these indentures. Like he said, we got a couple, couple, not a lot, a few of them that have to be adjusted a little bit. Yeah. But other than that, hey. You are landowners in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. All, right. All right. So um, you watched the video, right? And then you heard what she said. She said, now 30 people have their free land. Hooray. Yes, beautiful one from Sister Yaya. And you also heard the message from uh, Mr. Obed Kwanza. He was the one who was in the fuku. <laughs> he had that beautiful African dress rider. So... Thank you very much for checking me out. Um, if you still want to get a land here in Asebu, there's an opportunity for you to do so. Send me an email. My email address is in the description below. The same description, you're going to find um, my Patreon account. And then I have a PayPal account too. If maybe you want to support a Cor Simpson in whatever he's doing, you know, interviewing people, getting everything that needs to be done for you, then please go to my Patreon and support my work. So thank you very much for checking me out. Make sure you stay safe and see you in Ghana and on the motherland pretty soon. Bye.